reason you remember for afternoon topic of uh, my presentation today is the importance of family and then education definition of family as far as I'm concerned there are three definitions of family we have immediate family then we have society which is also considered family then there are city country and even the world we have a saying in Sanskrit language which says was there put in the room which means the whole world is a family. So I want to ask me you anybody can care to define a family. How do you understand the family in your Sorry? People we are related to, whether by blood or by relationship. Anybody else? Okay, I've defined three three aspects of family, but today I'm only going to be talking about the the immediate family. Okay, in this presentation I'm only talking about my immediate family, which is myself, my spouse, my children, and grandchildren. And then I'm going to relate our family with the education aspect of that. How we got together in deciding the educational path for all of us. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Dr. Howard to help me organize my presentation because what I had put together was not exactly the format that she had told us and I apologize for that. I read it part of that, that's why I'm not going to do everything in that slide. But uh, one thing I want to say, here's my wife and there's me. I have some other pictures which I want to pass on through my cell phone, unfortunately we couldn't get all of them in the, in the, in the presentation. Here's a, a picture of a, some of my, one of my son, I got married and we have been married quite a long time, 55 years, and uh, my wife, should you see my wife there? And the picture that's been passing on with and my, one of my sons and a couple of my grandchildren. And we have six grandchildren. So obviously we have a pretty large family considering where I came from. I really came from a very poor background. Born in a very backward area of the country, which is now gone to Pakistan. And uh, none of the people in my family, immediate family before me, were educated and I was the only one in the family who, who ever went to high school and beyond. So that gives me uh, kind of a, actually I started with a very unhealthy environment as far as your education is concerned but that motivated me to actually excel in my education. So I went through the, uh, actually I had, a, my mother died in the course of a child, childbirth. She had 14 grandchildren, she had 14 children, and none of them survived over except me. And when I was born, they pierced my ears and nose to ward off any bad omen that I might be also dead. Most of them died during the, some infancy, some died during the teenage, not even teenage. Only one sister I remember. She died at 16 years, but none of them were, so I was alone, the only child in the group of. So that was the background I came from. So I decided to break the cycle of my, my background. I immediately got interested in education, and I worked very hard. I passed all my class in flying colors, and I was usually first in the class. My teachers were very proud of me. In fact, uh, some of the cases that I can remember, since I was short and stretcher, and some of my classmates were very tall, but they were not very smart. So since I was smart, 
the teacher would ask me to stand up on the chair and slap them so that uh, they know how, how, how difficult it is to learn and they should be, be motivated to learn and not get slapped by me. And then, <laughs> so that, that kind of a, that was a starting point in my education. And then from there I went, kept, kept, I won a scholarship from the university to go to college. And uh, from the college, uh, I then went to engineering school. From engineering school, I came to the United States to learn and get higher education. And at that time, the idea was to go back to the country where I came from. But then my family, at that time, has, has joined me, and they wanted to stay, and so we all decided to stay. And I mentioned about my family, the, my, myself, my wife, and my children. The, those of you who have seen some of the pictures there, uh, the, I've got two boys and we've got six grandchildren. Three boys and three girls. Two of them, uh, one, of, one of the sons has two boys and a girl, the other son has two girls and a boy. So we are evenly balanced family. So, but then I personally did very well, I think, uh, considering where I came from. I. I took part in you know, sort of a community activities and one of the pictures that I think I also have here to show you I was receiving the here we go. Uh, this is the award that I got. I was involved in the bringing of the Mahatma Gandhi statue at Hamman Park. Mm -hmm. I was president of India Culture Center and uh, I helped get the, that uh, statue from India and we installed it in Hamman Park. It's still there, if you can go and see it. We go there every year to pray in front of the, the statue and all that. This is an award that I'm getting from the, from the mayor, Bill White. And in the nice in the background, there is an ambassador of India to the United States. So there are a number of awards like that I got as a community service person. So several of them I could show, but unfortunately my, uh, you know, my this one did not have a I didn't have the ability or time at that time to put them in the presentation. But you get the picture. Now after that. Uh, my kids uh, started to grow, and one of the things I wanted to stress on them, the importance of education, and also on my wife. Although I had a lot of good education, but my wife who came from a very uneducated family also, and she was, the highest education she had got was 12th grade, which is roughly equal to high school year. And, but, so I kind of helped motivate her to, to learn more and uh, so I became a senior and she, she ran a business in the travel agency. She became a business owner. And uh, then our kids, they had some problems during the growing up years. One of them wanted to drop out of the school because it's too long. So he wanted to become a manager of Holiday Inn. And uh, my wife, when she found out, she went and told the manager to fire him. So he was fired because and then you know, he was motivated to go on for the first division. The other son wanted to get married by high school. So we did the same thing, we said we'll cut off your financial support and you want to get married so, so that stopped him. So with the result, <laughs> the result they all they all grew up to be very bright professionals. One of them an engineer, one of them a lawyer, and the other is a cardiologist. So I think we are very proud of that myself and my wife both. So that is the kind of extent of the education. And as far as family is concerned, I wanted to say family is very, very important in conclusion. Uh, you have to really uh,
Yeah, the MD is the back background, a back rock of bedrock of your psyche, and you may disagree, but never to the point of breakdown. Um, examples of com compromise: uh, we have been married for more than 55 years, never saw each other before marriage. Now we are happy together. We go out and eat once a week. She goes on Tuesdays, I go on Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> The secret to a long and happy marriage is never go to bed early. Always hold her hand. If you let go, she goes shopping. <laughs> Yogi Berra once said, life is full of choices. When you get to a fork in the road, take it. So we took it. In conclusion, I hope you are convinced about the message. Family importance and education. Thank you. Yeah. Any questions? Are done with any questions? No question. Thank you. Eleven minutes.